In the grand story of mathematics, there are few names as towering as David Hilbert, a man whose vision reshaped not only mathematics itself, but also the way we think about knowledge. From laying the foundations of modern geometry to guiding physics into the age of relativity and quantum mechanics, Hilbert's influence was nothing short of revolutionary. At the dawn of the 20th century, he presented 23 problems to the world, challenges so profound that they would shape the course of mathematics for an entire century. Some of them were solved, others remain unsolved to this day, but together they became a roadmap for human thought. This is the story of David Hilbert, a quiet genius from Königsberg who transformed Göttingen into the world capital of mathematics, inspired generations of scientists, and left behind a legacy that continues to guide us. A man who believed, above all else, that nothing was beyond human understanding. We must know. We will know. David Hilbert was born on the 23rd of January, 1862, in the Prussian city of Königsberg, known today as Kaliningrad. His father, Otto Hilbert, was a respected court official, while his mother, Maria Therese, came from a family with a love for culture and learning. From an early age, David showed a quiet but sharp curiosity, the kind of mind always searching for patterns and order. In 1880, at just 18 years old, Hilbert entered the University of Königsberg, a place with a proud tradition in mathematics. There he met two men who would shape his early life and career, Adolf Hurwitz, a brilliant mathematician who introduced him to advanced ideas in analysis and geometry, and Hermann Minkowski, who would later become famous for the concept of space-time and relativity. The three formed a lifelong friendship, exchanging ideas that would ripple across mathematics and physics for decades. Hilbert completed his doctorate in 1885 under Ferdinand von Lindemann, the man who had famously proved that pi is a transcendental number. His thesis focused on algebraic number theory, a subject that, even in his earliest work, carried the hallmark of Hilbert's style, clarity, generality, and a bold willingness to redefine the rules of the game. By the time he earned his doctorate, Hilbert had already begun to display the traits that would make him one of the greatest minds of his era, a relentless drive to find elegance and complexity, and a belief that every problem could be solved with the right approach. In the mid-1890s, Hilbert's growing reputation as a mathematician led him to a new home, the University of Göttingen. At the time, Göttingen was emerging as one of Europe's intellectual powerhouses, and Hilbert's arrival in 1895 would cement its place as the world capital of mathematics. Here, Hilbert found himself in a vibrant community led by Felix Klein, a master of unifying different branches of mathematics, and joined once more by his close friend Hermann Minkowski. Surrounded by such minds, Hilbert's creativity flourished. He was no longer the promising student of Königsberg, he was now a leader in his own right. During his first years in Göttingen, Hilbert's research began to expand beyond number theory. He developed new insights in invariant theory and algebraic geometry, producing results that set the tone for his lifelong style, abstract yet universal, always seeking the deepest structure beneath the surface of mathematics. His lectures quickly gained fame for their clarity and elegance. Students marveled at the way he could strip away complexity to reveal the pure logic underneath. Hilbert wasn't simply teaching mathematics, he was training a new generation to think differently, to value precision and beauty in equal measure. By the turn of the century, Hilbert had firmly established himself as one of Europe's leading mathematicians. His bold vision for the future of mathematics was about to be revealed to the world, most famously, in a set of problems that would shape an entire century. As the new century began, Hilbert's work reached a new level of influence. In 1899, he published Foundations of Geometry, a book that redefined the very way mathematicians approached their subject. By replacing intuition with strict axioms, Hilbert showed that entire systems of thought could be rebuilt from clear, logical rules. It was a bold departure from tradition, and it set the standard for modern mathematics. His vision of mathematics as a universal, axiomatic discipline soon spilled into other fields. Hilbert introduced the idea of infinite dimensional spaces, what we now call Hilbert spaces, which later became central to quantum mechanics and functional analysis. With this, he provided the mathematical framework that physicists would use to describe the strange world of atomic and subatomic particles. But perhaps Hilbert's most famous contribution came at the dawn of the 20th century. At the International Congress of Mathematicians in Paris in the year 1900, he unveiled his legendary list of 23 unsolved problems. Carefully chosen to represent the most pressing challenges across the discipline, these problems became a roadmap for generations of mathematicians. With these problems, Hilbert did more than set a challenge, he set an agenda. He gave mathematicians a vision of the future, and in doing so, he helped shape the entire course of 20th century mathematics. Hilbert's genius did not stop at pure mathematics. He believed that the deepest laws of the universe could, and should, be expressed through mathematics, and in doing so, he played a decisive role in shaping modern physics. In November 1915, as Albert Einstein was racing to complete his general theory of relativity, Hilbert independently derived the same field equations using his command of the calculus of variations. 
The two men exchanged letters during this dramatic period, each pushing the other forward. While Einstein's physical insight gave relativity its meaning, Hilbert's formulation gave it a rigorous mathematical foundation. Beyond relativity, Hilbert also sought to bring order to the new and rapidly developing field of atomic physics. He collaborated with physicists like Max Born to formalize the mathematics of quantum theory, aiming to provide the same kind of clarity and precision he had brought to geometry. For Hilbert, there was no boundary between mathematics and physics. To him, physics was simply another domain where mathematics could reveal hidden truths. His contributions ensured that physicists had the language they needed to describe both the vast curvature of space-time and the mysterious behavior of the atom. By the early 20th century, Hilbert had turned Göttingen into more than just a university. It had become the world's mathematical capital. Under his leadership, the city drew brilliant young minds from across the globe, eager to be part of this intellectual revolution. Hilbert was not working alone. Together with colleagues like Felix Klein, he built a research culture where collaboration flourished and new fields of mathematics could take root. Göttingen quickly became a magnet for talent, attracting some of the brightest students of the era. Among them was Emmy Noether, whose pioneering work in algebra and physics would reshape modern science. Hermann Weyl, who made profound contributions to group theory, relativity, and quantum mechanics. And John von Neumann, whose work laid the foundations for quantum theory, game theory, and computer science. All of them, in different ways, were shaped by their time in Göttingen and by Hilbert's vision. The Göttingen School was more than a collection of individuals, it was a movement. It embodied Hilbert's belief in the universality of mathematics and his confidence that every great problem could eventually be solved. Under his influence, Göttingen became the model for the modern mathematical research center, blending teaching, collaboration, and groundbreaking discovery. By the end of the 1920s, Hilbert stood at the peak of his fame. He had inspired a generation, reshaped mathematics, and set the agenda for the century. Yet the final chapter of his life would bring both intellectual and personal challenges. One of the deepest blows came not from politics, but from within mathematics itself. Hilbert's great ambition had been to place the entire subject on unshakable logical foundations, a project that became known as Hilbert's program. But in 1931, a young logician named Kurt Gödel published his incompleteness theorems, proving that within any sufficiently powerful mathematical system, there would always be true statements that could not be proven. Hilbert's dream of absolute certainty had been dealt a fatal blow. Still, true to his nature, he refused despair. He continued to believe in the power of reason, famously declaring, For us, there is no ignorabimus. There is no we shall not know. Soon after, a darker challenge arose, the rise of the Nazi regime. Many of Hilbert's colleagues and former students, including Jewish mathematicians like Emmy Noether and Richard Courant, were dismissed from their positions and forced into exile. When a Nazi education official asked Hilbert whether mathematics in Göttingen had suffered after these dismissals, Hilbert's reply was blunt, suffered? It doesn't exist anymore. His words captured not only his grief, but the destruction of the community he had built. In his later years, Hilbert lived quietly in Göttingen, increasingly frail in health and cut off from the vibrant mathematical world that had once surrounded him. On the 14th of February, 1943, he passed away at the age of 81. The funeral was small, overshadowed by war, yet the loss was immense. One of the greatest minds of modern history was gone. Though David Hilbert's life ended in relative obscurity, his influence has never faded. Few figures in history have shaped not only the content of mathematics, but also its very philosophy and method. Hilbert showed that mathematics could be rebuilt on logic, precision, and clarity. And in doing so, he gave the discipline a modern identity that still guides it today. His legacy extends far beyond technical theorems. It lies in the culture of problem solving he inspired, in the belief that great questions can be confronted systematically, and in the optimism that knowledge is always within reach. The countless discoveries of the 20th century, from quantum physics to computer science, all bear the marks of his influence. And yet, perhaps Hilbert is remembered most not for any single result, but for the spirit with which he approached knowledge. His final words, inscribed on his tombstone in Göttingen, captured this spirit perfectly, were mussen wissen, were word and wissen, we must know, we will know. It is this conviction, that no problem is beyond human understanding, that ensures Hilbert's place among the greatest thinkers of all time. His vision continues to inspire mathematicians, scientists, and dreamers, reminding us that the pursuit of truth is a journey without end. David Hilbert's journey took him from a small city in Prussia to the very center of the mathematical universe. He built schools of thought, guided entire generations of scientists, and left behind ideas that continue to shape the world of mathematics and physics today. His story is a reminder that true genius is not only about solving problems, but also about asking the questions that will define the future. And in that, Hilbert stands as one of history's greatest visionaries. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this biography, please like the video and share it with others who love history and science.
Don't forget to subscribe for more stories of legendary figures. And let us know in the comments which mathematician or scientist you'd like us to cover next.